Hey guys, it's Dana, and today I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate strawberry cake. This is really easy. You will need two large eggs, one cup of sugar, a half cup of olive oil, three quarters cups of Greek yogurt, a teaspoon of vanilla, one of, teaspoon of almond extract, two cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a thick-skinned rinsed lemon, 16 ounces of strawberries, a little bit less actually, cherries, maraschino or amarina, plus a little bit of their syrup, and then optional confectioner sugar and two tablespoons hot cocoa, but I would never make this without either one of those. So first, we are going to go ahead and start by preparing our springform pan. Now mine releases from the bottom, which I really love, and I'm using a little bit of olive oil so that it will release from the sides, the cake will release from the sides. Then I'm going to sprinkle the bottom of the pan with a little bit of sugar and then add my sliced dried strawberries, as many as I can, as many as I'm comfortable with, without overcrowding. Remember, this is going to be a moisture content inside of your cake. Then after I add these, I'm going to add a drizzle of um, I added extra little red sprinkles for more sugar, but you can opt out of that. And then I added amarina syrup and then chopped up about six pitted amarina cherries. You could easily substitute in maraschino cherries without a problem, but you might want to just leave them whole, making sure there are no pits. Once you do that, you will then preheat your oven to 350. Now we're going to add the sugar to the bowl and then add our eggs to the bowl and our yogurt. Adding in the olive oil, then mix this up. I'm now adding in my vanilla and the baking powder. Now my sifted flour, you see me doing this by hand, Yes, it's old fashioned, but it definitely works. Mix it, mix it well. You'll see it's going to get a little bit thicker and that is expected. It's not crumbly, don't worry. It looks like it might be, but it definitely is not. Scrape it down from the sides. We wanna get all of the ingredients in there. Now add your almond flavor in. I separate the flavors because I wanna make sure that each gets incorporated well. Now I'm going to add in strawberries that's where the 16 ounces comes in more or less as you prefer but fold them in by hand do not use the mixer or it will break them up and make them mushy after we get this assembled i'm going to go ahead and use the zest of that thick skinned lemon make sure you get a good bit on there maybe about a tablespoon if you want more that's fine as well then we're going to work on transferring this to the pan now here's the tricky part those berries will move around so rather than touching the berries kind of drop it like you see me doing and then once we get it in there if you have a cake spreader it works easily to move this about if not hit your spatula with a little bit of olive oil with from that brush and it'll move around easily and then we're going to go ahead and bake this and check that out it's going into the oven it's on 350 and when it comes out it looks like this we'll allow this to cool i'll make sure that the sides are separated and then we will pop it out and reverse it. And there is the top, like a pineapple upside down cake, but with strawberries and cherries. But I'm not done. I want this cake to have a little bit more love in it. So we're going to go ahead and I added confectionery sugar. And then after I topped it with confectionery sugar, I worked with two heart-shaped cookie cutters in order to form a heart on top of the cake, adding hot cocoa with a little bit of sugar through it and making a chocolate center as you can see there, but I'm not done because you won't be able to see that. Now I'm adding the confectionery sugar to show that white heart, right? And there it is. This cake is absolutely delicious. It's one of my favorites. It's pretty natural, simple ingredients, fast to make, and in one pan, as you can tell. This is actually perfect for Valentine's Day or for anybody with a sweet tooth that loves both berries and chocolate. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my website, danavento.com, for more easy recipes for any season and any day of the week.